everybody. Welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this lesson, we're taking a look at yet another mandolin track by that country rock crossover great Steve Earle. And now this one, the Galway Girl, it's called, uh, comes from his album called The Transcendental Blues in 19... Uh, well, actually, it was in the year 2000, and Many people think this is a traditional Irish tune, but actually it isn't. Steve Earle wrote it and played it, and uh, yeah, but he employs a lot of Irish instruments in the tune, and it's become a, a classic Irish tune over the years, but it was written by an American, and I'm going to show you the various parts and even the, the little tin whistle melody in the song that I played at the beginning of this video. You can play that one on the mandolin, and it sounds, it sounds really cool. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. But first, a little bit of business. If you're new here, thanks very much for checking us out. But don't forget, hit that little red subscriber button on the way out. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much once again for coming back. But don't forget to hit those little, or don't forget to check out the links down below in our description box. Especially the link for our new lesson series. It's called Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin with Mike Dijon. 16 video lessons that take you from... Well, the very beginning in picking up the mandolin all the way to intermediate level. It's perfect for beginners or intermediate players, and it's only $29.99. Also down below, you'll see a link for our Patreon site. You can join our Patreon team, and you can check out some affiliate links I have down below as well for products that I use and endorse. But that's enough business for you. Let's take a look at this Steve Earle mandolin song, yet another one. It's called The Galway Girl. Here on RPM. All right, Galway Girl is in the key of D and it starts off with this little progression. All right, that's just your basic open D chord here. Second fret, of course, of the G string. Second fret of the E, open, open in the middle. And you're just doing down, down, down. I'm just going down, down, down. And then up, down at the end, so like Slowly down, 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 up, down, like that. So. All right, and then um, in the verses, you're going to be switching from that D chord to this open G chord. All right, so you're going from the D to that G, A, I, A, I, A, right? Then what he's doing next is really kind of different, a little bit unique. And, you know, I've seen a few other lessons on YouTube that are not quite right here. So I've been looking at Steve Earle's videos, playing this song on YouTube, and I see what he does here. He does just basically a one finger chord progression back to the G. All right, so he's playing this chord here, which is from the fourth fret of the G string, and it's a B note with an open D string. And what that does is it gives you a B minor chord. And if you also hit that A, that open A, like that, it's actually a B minor seven. A lot of teachers will show you to play a B minor chord in the standard variety, but that's not what Steve Earle does from the videos that I've seen, right? So he goes, right, to the G, and now he's going B, A, G, D. All right, now the next part of the verse, he comes in with a, Like that. All right, so that part goes like this. It's just D. All right, so on the second part of the verses, it goes... times hammering on that G chord, a little bit more emphasis, then back to the D, and then do it again, and then that B minor part. And sometimes Steve Earle, I've seen, he even throws in this little lick here. Now, he's playing the D chord with his first finger here and his second finger, so he can go, so he can just hammer that fourth fret there back to the D chord, like that. 
He's adding that fourth fret of the G string a couple of times, so. Just like that, okay? You gotta listen to the track to see what he's doing, but. Like that. Like that. And those are the patterns for the verses of this song. All right, now let's take a look at the pattern that goes over that little solo, the little melody line that I put at the beginning of the song. It's actually played in the original track on the violin and on the tin whistle as well. All right, and the chords underneath that little lead line go like this. difference there is a bit of the strumming pattern and then adding an A chord at the end. So you're going over that little lead line, da, 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 D, 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 G, G, back to D. Okay, so D, 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 G, D, G, D, G, then a B minor, A, G, D, and now A, A, G, D, D, like that. Okay, so one more time, D chord, D chord. The only difference is like that, and then you're doing the B minor thing again to the A, G, to D, and now you're going to go to an A chord, second fret, second fret, open, open, right? at the end of that little lick, the melodic part, the first part of the melodic lick. All right, now the second part of the melodic lick, which is only played actually once during the song near the end, um, it shifts up to a G chord. So it's going to that G chord, back to the D chord, and quickly to the A chord. Okay, so G, G, D, A, and now that B minor pattern again. B, A, G, D, and the A. And one more time, that B minor is the fourth fret here of the G. Open, open, all right? I'm just using that note there. Fourth fret, second fret, open G chord and back to the D. Okay, so once more through the chords for the little melodic part it goes. And that's it, those are the chords for the little melodic parts in this song. All right, so over those chords, you're doing this melody. All right, really cool, isn't it? That's a really cool little melody, very, uh, well, very sort of traditional sounding, traditional Irish soundings, and it goes. Okay, that's the first part of it. What is that? Well. That's from the 4th fret of the D string, the 2nd fret of the D string, to the open D string, so... And I like to think of this as going Galway girl, right? Okay, and the second part goes after... You go... Same notes, 4, 2, open, but this time you're going... So... And then, so from the beginning of the lick goes, Galway girl. Now you jump up to the next string. So that's two on the A, four, five, two, open, four. Back to the D string, you see that? All right, so again, And I'm kind of doing, I'm doing most of these notes with a downstroke here, down, down, down. Here I'm not. Here I, you gotta, you gotta do down and up strokes there. 
And same with this, you're going. So, so I'm going down, down, up, down, up there a few times on that second fret of the A string. So, right? And those are down strokes from two open to four. And then after that, you're going. So those same notes again, two, open, four, two, open, four, right? And then here. So two, four, five, two, open. Okay, so the whole little melody again, the first part of the melody anyway goes. And that is the first little melody that's played a few times during the song. All right, so later in the song, they change to another little melody that they go. All right, and later in the song, it goes to another little melody, which is really neat after we do that one. up to a G, like they're changing to that G chord pattern now. So, there's... so what is that? That's so it's off that second fret of the A and to A open and then two, four, five. So and back to two open. Okay, so. And then, so open five, four, two on the D string there. So, so, okay. And now they go back to that pattern from the other lick. So again, two, open, four, two, open, four, and then two, two, four, five, two, 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 open like that. Okay, so one more time, the second part here is. All right, and the chords that are played underneath that part is. Like that, all right? So what are those chords? Well, the chords are G, back to D, and then to A, okay? And then you're doing that B minor, A, G, D part again, and then to the A. So one more time. Are the chords that go underneath the second part of that little melodic series. And that's it. That is Steve Earle's The Galway Girl for you, an Irish-tinged American written song <laughs> that is really fun to play on the mandolin. It's a mandolin song. Steve Earle plays the mando on this track, and you can also play some of the other little melodies and solos as I showed you on the mandolin as well. Have fun with it. It really is a cool little tune to play on this lovely little instrument. Thanks again for tuning into RPM. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that little red subscriber button. If you're not new here, thanks very much for coming back again, but check out all of those links down below in the description section of this video. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks again for watching RPM.